Hello everyone, my name is Lena. Welcome and thank you for watching. So in today's video, I'll be talking about my quest to find a better tasting cup of coffee. That's because I've been drinking the same coffee for the past 30 years. And if you're like me, you depend on your coffee to wake you up in the morning or even sometimes as a pick me up in the afternoon and even to tame a hangover. And because I've been drinking this coffee for this long, it no longer does any of the above. So I'm on a quest to find a better tasting cup. I think it's time I found something new, something fresh, something different. And the way I plan to do that is to brew, taste and rate different brands of coffee on a scale of one to 10 until I find a better tasting cup. So I started with a more expensive brand of coffee that everyone had been talking about. And I was so excited, I brought it home, brewed it, and the coffee tasted like dirt. Uh, but I had never drank coffee before that tasted like dirt. And I was really disappointed. Tried another brand, it just tasted like plain water, flavored with something. I tried drive through coffee, restaurant coffee, coffee house coffees, even church coffee and there's the grab and go coffee that you know the ones that you pour yourself and then dress and you take it out with you and that in my opinion was the worst tasting coffee ever now i'm not trying to degrade any particular brand of coffee i'm just looking for better tasting coffee because if i'm going to be paying as much as i do for coffee i need to enjoy my coffee experience because did you know that while tea is the most consumed beverage in the world, coffee is the most consumed in America. Over bottled water, juice, tea, soda, and even beer, coffee happens to be top dog. And the average American spends between three and four dollars a day on coffee. And given as much money as we spend on coffee, I think I need to enjoy my morning cup of coffee. So I am on a quest to find a better tasting cup and I hope you will join me. Now, today I will be testing a brand of coffee that half of America has been hooting and hollering about. So now I'm going to cut the jibber jabber and test a coffee. This is the Starbucks brand of coffee. It's the Pike Place Roast Medium because I like medium roast. I think the light roast is a little too light for me and the dark roast is a little too bitter, too burnt. So I have been sticking with the medium roast. Now I especially like this bag because you can actually squeeze the air out and reseal the bag for freshness. Now there's a date on this bag. Also January, 2020. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Also, this tells me a little bit about the origin of this coffee. It says it's a blend of Latin American coffees with flavors of cocoa and toasted nuts. Now I have a nut allergy, but I do not believe there is any nuts in this coffee because I think it's just the, the roasting process that gives it the nuttiness. And also this bag tells me exactly how to brew the coffee. So it says to use two tablespoons of coffee per six ounces of water. And that's what I'm going to do because I plan to brew the coffee according to package directions. So I have my six ounces of water in my little coffee maker here. Six ounces of water. Done. And two tablespoons of coffee. So I'm going to do that, two tablespoons of coffee, let it brew, and we'll come back to have the taste. Okay, so now that my coffee is done brewing, it's time for the taste test. I have some cream and sugar, mmm, oh wow, oh wow. This is really good coffee, y'all. I now understand why half of America is in love with this coffee. It's really, really flavorful. Oh, wow. This is really good coffee. And today I tasted Starbucks Pike Place Medium Roast. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this coffee a solid 8. Now, next week, I will be tasting another coffee. 
It's called Burley Man Coffee. It's a small coffee company out in Stewart, Florida. It's on the East Coast. And I can't wait to see what the results are. Okay, so I've come to the end of my show. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, you can do me a huge favor by clicking the like and subscribe button in the bottom. And let me know which coffees you like and which coffees you don't like, respectfully, of course. And to give you an invitation to join me again next week for another coffee adventure. So my name is Lena. Thank you for watching. And take care of yourself. Drink more coffee. Bye, y'all.